Which month is September, but there was an early launch today at the Humana Yana. Sonika Thorne, who tracks Indigenous Peoples Affairs, attended and has more. Today being International Indigenous Peoples Day was the most fitting for the launch of Indigenous Heritage Month, which is observed annually in September. Speaking at the Yumanayana launch, Minister Valerie Garrida Lowe said that the ministry is in full preparation mood. Today, it is an honor and a privilege for our ministry to launch Indigenous Heritage Month, and we promise that more wonderful activities will be, we will be having this year. Minister Garrida Lowe said that the Indigenous peoples have much to celebrate and the month's observant present a great opportunity to reflect on how far they have come as a people. In 2016, I traveled to Ecuador, where indigenous women had gathered to discuss the concerns of the indigenous peoples and the way forward. And I was amazed at the indignities fellow indigenous peoples had to suffer in this modern day and age. I realized then how far advanced Guyana was as a nation in the treatment of our indigenous peoples. In Guyana, we have nine nations of indigenous peoples, the Arawaks, Caribs, Warraus, Akawayo, Arikunas, Patamonas, Wapishanas, Waiwais, and the Makushes. Governments past and present have been working with our indigenous peoples to ensure that lands are legally owned by villages and communities across Guyana. The activities will commence on August 31 with the customary interreligious service, followed by the heritage ceremonial launch on September 1 when President David Granger will deliver the feature address. Other activities include food, craft and arts exhibition, heritage pageant and sport, along with a fundraising event and an event of reflection on the life of Stephen Campbell. This year's National Heritage Village is in Cutsport Mission, also known as Pukuri. Sunika Thorne, Foreign Info Hub.